Never anybody in the paths when I come to check. I always want to see somebody swimming around in here, but they're not. Welcome back to Songs of Six. Welcome back. We're continuing our Dundarian Mountain series. Thank you all who have joined me so far, and those who are keeping up with the series. Thank you for watching. You guys are lovely. You make the dream come true every single day, and I appreciate you for it. Here we are, though, and we have a lot to do. So much to do. Speaking of which, I have to remove these farms. I think these farms are a waste of time and space. I could open up this whole... That's an interesting one. The second time a slave uprising has happened two seconds into me reloading the game. It's almost like they are becoming enraged for no reason. Are they really in a coordinated bunch too? Are you fucking serious? Well. I did have these guys for this purpose here. I purposefully made them a group that was very small. Let's have these guys form up over here. And we'll have these guys form up over here. And hopefully they'll muster. I don't think it's going to matter though, because to be honest, they're probably going to disband their little rebellion in a second. Just to make sure it's just these three groups here. Four groups. They are moving to assault my fucking buildings. Holy crap. That's kind of annoying. I think that uh, I'll let Jake know after this upload that this kind of stuff is happening. Because that's definitely not supposed to happen. Because if I check, our, our loyalty is at a very high number. <laughs> and it was much higher too wasn't dipping when I left the last time so kind of annoying hopefully our boys can assemble here all right there are something of a group let's get them to come over here have them attack this group kind of walk up this road here beat them up beat them up find find a man and kill them there's no real morale to this situation here because they're literally just a bunch of bums. Alright, get over there and kill them. Why are you going that way? Go... Whatever. Go, go around the long way here. Alright, there's a bunch of slaves that are now being beaten and killed. Very valuable slaves that are just being beaten and killed. Honestly, at this rate though, I think that there's no reason to continuously get them because if that is the case... I think that if I get more and I start again, I'm just going to have to constantly be fighting them. Until I know the bug is dealt with, I'm probably just going to not have more slaves in our society. That's very upsetting though. Alright, you guys can go back to your daily, daily life here. They should be good, yeah. So, they were beaten back into submission. As mentioned, I created these two men or two 20 man groups so that they could specifically beat up slaves. Um, smaller divisions are easier to move around. Quite, quite an obnoxious issue there. I really don't know what else to say. <laughs> but in a game that is exceptionally good, like Songs of Six, you can I can usually accept those issues, those minor bugs, those minor issues. Especially because I'm playing in a V66 beta. So this is not the final version of the beta. It's just 
basically getting work done currently normally he would put this through alpha but it's going through a beta stage instead very confusing stuff um, regardless I'm going to get to work I have a lot to do I have to remove these farms I'd like to expand our living situation in here I'd like to expand our human situation if I am to do this slave route I think I'll just keep humans I'm gonna remove these grain farms too eventually and we will just stop import we'll just start importing grains and mushrooms um, I can look on the map here this is the guy that we should probably attack or him so probably this guy although where's the roads that connect straight through here okay and then this one I think yeah he would have to go around I don't know if we have connection to the ocean like that we're not technically on the ocean we are off the ocean so we don't really have good maneuverability when it comes to that so I'm gonna get to it hopefully get enough clothing and other things and speaking of which I'm pretty sure yep no I took them off good make sure you always take their clothing away because the slaves will wear it I'll see you guys in a minute Alright brothers, it's time for victory. We are ready to take on the rebels. We have sent our 98 beautifully trained Dundarians. They just have short stabby swords, but they're very well trained. They're much better trained than these bastards here. We're gonna send them straight to hell. We're gonna have them move fast, and we're gonna have these guys go over here. Actually, we'll have a good club like that and then these guys will go over here all right maneuver move all right we're gonna try to draw these boys to what I call the old-fashioned uh, beat them up in a circle kind of thing you know flank them let's get up on them here make sure we get a good good position all right I want these guys to pull back pull back adjust yourselves if we can get these guys with a nice old flankaroni oh man they're not gonna know what hit them hmm I know the I know the best way to do this Maneuver. I said maneuver. <laughs> maneuver. Maneuver like that. And then. Charge, brothers. Charge. I really wanted them to get into combat together, but it's okay. Because if we take out that other group, these guys will be assisted. So there's only 34 guys in this group, and there's 49 of us in this group. Hopefully, our boys will finish that group off. We're going to have these guys in a kind of defensive formation here. They've got equal defense as well as offensive skills, so there's no reason to not have them in defensive formation. And they should eventually start to kill some of these bastards here. We have 108 enemies. I don't think we did any damage really when we did that charge because we're charging against Dundarians, our brothers, our boys, but it's okay. Kind of stinks because we're not going to get anything of value when we beat these guys, but that's that's all right. We let the battle commence. Kind of, kind of just gotta watch it from above at this point. But we are murdering this other group here. They are slowly getting beaten up. I don't know why they have less morale. I guess because they're less... No, they're about the same morale. These guys seem to be dying at a faster rate, so... You know what? I don't know. I think defense is smarter. They, they're only winning because there's more of them. They have 25 more guys. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. 
72. They're still doing okay on that side. Many Dundarians may die in this battle, but as long as we win, that's all that matters. Alright, this group appears to be fleeing. Yep. Now we can form up on their back here. We should be good. We're not too tired. Wait for the boys to line up. These guys are holding. Only only a couple guys have died. Whoa, 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 whoa. what are you doing? Come back here. Get back in line, brothers. Alright. Hit their backs. Now they're surrounded. Should be a quick one. Beautiful victory for us. Beautiful victory. Love the combat. You can kind of tell what's going on. The guys with the brown are the enemies, and we're the guys with the colorful shirts on. And the enemies are fleeing. We only lost four. Three guys, actually. Three guys. Nice. Beautiful. Is there still two guys left? Kill them. I think we just lost the guy. Pretty sure we just lost another guy, because we had 96, right? There we go. Alright, brothers. Here we are. We've got our three groups of 50 Dundarians. We have our two really powerful groups, and we have our weaker little middle group here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these guys here, and they're going to hold off this primary force. We're fighting in Mevians. There's 126. 103 of them are decently trained, but they have no weapons. So we're going to try to hold those guys here. Meanwhile, our badass boys here. These guys are both trained up to 70% melee training, so they are extremely well trained. They're going to try to do their best to halt the enemy's progress. So we're going to move up these guys to get here. And the same, these guys will go over here. If we can hit the back of their lines with a, a nice old uh, charge, that should do a lot of damage to their, their morale. So we get these guys to go over here. Have these guys bunch up a little bit more. Have these guys come in here. You're already falling for the imp the encirclement my brothers all right let's have these guys charge because I want them to get into the conflict quickly and then charge the back of them too kill them all brothers kill them all so far so good let's remove their defensive stance and hopefully we'll start to tear these boys up They've got some bowmen in there, I believe. No, it looks... Yeah, no, there's some bowmen. All kinds of combat is happening right now, but luckily we've got them encircled. Didn't lose anybody in the initial charge, it looks like. I mostly want to kill these Amevians, though, because they have a region, which I believe will give me some access to better wood supply, as well as fish. So we're trying to get that going. Or, or, anything. So we're going to speed this up see how we're doing 144 We've lost a few guys this will be a tougher battle as these guys aren't a joke they're actually pretty tough but hopefully our numbers will win the day here because Amevians are one of the better fighting species you can see they have 82 percent force or 82 force we have 76 83 so they have pretty good force modifier there. We're losing, guys. I need to kill at least five to every one I lose. Dang you to think that from a rear attack we would do better. There they are. They're fleeing. 
That's what we needed to see. Oh man, that was a rough battle. We lost well over a dozen guys there. It looks like we've cleared them out though. We'll have our guys spread out and kill everyone else. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Look at it. Look how much I've done. The whole part of the city that actually had people is empty. <laughs> this took me so much time. I swear to Krator. I swear to it, Dury. Man, it took so long. It was a great time, though. I've been having so much fun. It's interesting because I think, like, a couple days ago, I was talking about just being burnt out on songs, and here I am back on top of it back in the game here and we've got so much to go over i don't even know where to begin let's start by giving ourselves some storage for gems because we lost our region that was sending us gems and now they're back so let's go all the way over here nothing has changed over here ideally we'll get rid of all of these bastards and these guys too but we have a lot of need for humans. The humans are very valuable. As you can see, our submission is actually kind of dropping here. We should probably send our troops. Oh, they're on their way back. Uh, we should probably make another group of guys troops here so that we've got additional defense in case we need it here. And you can see we have 150 guys out on the world map. I've really figured out how that works. I also wanted to show you guys, I didn't know you could do this. So let's say I wanted this guy, this guy, and this guy all to have the same thing. Now you can click edit, and it, it edits all of those divisions. So let's say you want to pop them down to 40%, it will drop them down to 40. 50, you wanted to give them all one sword each, you could do that. It'll give them all swords, and it made them all the same exact group. So let's say you didn't want to have that symbol, you could change it to this one here. Accept that, and then boom, they're all the same symbol. So yeah, that freaking amazing tool right there, I didn't even know we had, why is it, oh we have 10 shields but we don't need them, and then we have 45 metal armor, that's from our victories that we won. So this region hasn't really changed, we have our two admin buildings who are producing enough admin to keep us happy. Then we also have our paper maker. Paper. So I've been trying to figure out. So we're making paper. It's going in here. I'm ideally having. I think you know what it is. I don't have enough guys to grab it. Because they can pull from. The hauler will pull from a site that has this lock. Specifically if it's being pulled from that area. You have to have it selected as a pull source. So that way you can lock a building to a specific place or a thing. 
So I have this specifically trying to hold paper so that these guys will grab it from there, but irregardless, here we go. Let's let's start from the beginning. I knew that when I adjusted my shitty my shitties shitty shape um, my city shape, I was going to have a difficult time, so I initially built this metal smelter, the warehouse, and the charcoaler. I wanted to get those out of the way because I, I decided what would my major industry be, and it was smelting. We can fit 40 smelters in there. I don't need that many smelters. Um, we, ha we can also fit 60 iron or ore miners in here, as well as just as many coal charcoalers, etc., etc. So we have a good amount of that. Speaking of which, I also wanted to change our guy over here to coal. So that he's starting to do coal production instead of the wood production that way we can give a few more guys to here and hopefully lower this down a tad probably like like that and I keep I have a ton of work orders just constantly going for pulling wood but we can't really keep up with it that way we need to actually get a region so I've been planning my moves. I have, and we'll go back to the capital in a second. I have taken this region, and I'd like to go probably a little bit more south, like this guy here. Not too big of a region. Somebody small, or even no, he's got, he's not a rebel. We need to find like a southern rebel on the water here somewhere. Maybe these guys, somebody like that, and have them send. Why is this? Why is this showing red? That's interesting. Uh, have them send their... Oh, it's because that's our reach. <laughs> We're red. Have them send wood to us. Because we need that. We really do. Back to the topic at hand. We have... Once we got the wood or the iron set up. The, the metal smelter set up. I started to work this way. I had constant issues with happiness. People were ready to rebel. We had fights in the street we were we're constantly fighting and there was a lot of a lot of struggle we lost over 30 slaves in the ensuing battles and death and everything that happened but as you can see we have plenty more money now where that came from so then I built the carpenter knowing that I wanted these buildings to be the same shape I built a warehouse specifically for two workshops so that they can share it trying to share the similar resource obviously now that they're like this I'm going to need to do something like that and put like 20 crates of coal in here. But you can see I have 240 total crates. That's a lot of crates. And we have plenty of space for things to get put in there and upgraded. Also, speaking of which, why don't we just get all the basic upgrades out of the way because I can. Oh, no, I can't. I don't have enough iron. Um, we have this warehouse here with tons and tons of stone. We were getting imports of stone. I turned that off and started importing gems instead with the intent of basically not filling my warehouse too much with stone. We have 50 masons, they have 1,500 cut stone, and then our potter as well right next door. We're importing clay, that's the only thing I import, which really isn't affecting my treasury at all because I export. Any spare pottery that I have goes to the export. So you can see anything over 30, I'll sell. But we're not really selling too much Seems like we don't even have a trader right now. Next, we have our military warehouse. This is the military zone kind of over here. So we have the warehouse for that. And all arms and weapons go in here. Leather. And then the tailor here, he's building, he's making clothing. Ideally, I'll probably make a leather armor workshop kind of like how I made this smithy. So he's only making tools. You don't need to have a lot of guys in your smithy making tools if you had a, a tool maker like this big for your smithy it's exorbitantly sized that's way too big for a smithy making tools if i set these guys to make tools they would literally make thousands and thousands of tools so quickly so i have it set where these guys make weapons ideally we'll cut a lot more out or probably have to put it over here because this is not any there's not enough space here and we're going to have two more additional, one for the plate armor and then, like I said, a tailor for specifically the, the leather armor. So that way we can have guard post. 
Then our last, but not least, the warehouse for the ration maker. Rations, I didn't know that you could actually technically make rations out of just bread. Six bread makes two rations, or three bread and five, er, or 0.5 herbs makes 2.5 rations, so much better deal right there. Um, speaking of which, let's check our regions. Jeez. Why? We dropped down to 36. I think it's because we have this here. Yeah, they'll go back up now. That's an interesting little issue. If you ever have a, a region and it drops below its population, try to uh, drop the. make sure that the capital is not set to level 2. And it should go back to where it was. And make sure this guy here. He should be okay. He's not dropping. You can see he's sending us nine gems per day, but that is a lot of gems. Those are about 3,000 apiece. Um, and this guy here, he is going to have the same kind of problem where it's just going to take a little while. Let's do that, and then we will build the thing again. Nope, it looks like... Looks like we're going to need something else for this region, but I will I will figure out the regions in the next episode because that is another day, another problem. Back to the city. We have our giant market. This market is big enough for every person in the entire city to get access to it. And same with the food stall. If I look at their services, they should have 76%, which is hilarious, and 83% food stalls. Perfect. That's better than 75%. That's all I want to see. And then we have our warehouse here specifically to store these things. Our lavatory, stage, guard post, scaffold. Two big shrines to theory so that they can have maximum, maximum religion here. They should all have shrine access, but apparently... Oh, it's only because they haven't, they haven't been upgraded. Let's see. Do I have... Yes, we can worship with style here. Let's worship with style. See, I'm going over these things now, and it's good because I'm actually doing the stuff that I probably should have done prior, but it's good that you guys are probably seeing a lot of this stuff get done because a lot of it probably seems like a little too fast, like I jumped very far ahead, and I know that's on purpose. I always do that on purpose because I'd like to show you guys the extent of Songs of Six. And the last thing that we have here is our bathhouse, little bathhouse. So... We've done so much work. Obviously, the chamber hasn't been reconstructed. I had to move him, and I just haven't really cared. You know what? I didn't have the money when I when I did it, but now I have plenty of money, so why don't we just import a couple? We have so much, it doesn't even matter how much we get. We could do that, and then I'll give you $4,000, buddy. And you can see, they love me. 4, 400%, and these guys, 832%. Black Blastin' Sand is our colleague. He's a colleague, too. I'd like to actually maybe get an alliance one of these days. You can see we can also unite. Become their vassal, which will cost. They'll pay us that, or we can become their protector. The same with these guys. Most of the, the weaker guys don't mind it. Like, for example, Hoogland will probably try to reunite with, because it's only going to cost me 1.5 million. And I will get this region here. I could go and kill him, but that would make me look like the bad guy. Also, look at his flag, and look at our flag. Our flag is basically the same flag. We're, we're like the same type of guy, you know? We don't, we don't want to fight Hoogland, you know? So, ideally, I'll buy him and have him join us. And I think that that might give us some access to, like, a nobility or something. I don't know. There is the ability to have vassals, and if you don't have available people to put into a vassal ship i'm pretty sure you can't make a vassal or a person in charge of like a puppet but i haven't really explored that much into that so i'll have to do that in the future anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this little video here i know it's probably a little longer than normal for this type of video but it's a lot shorter than the last two weeks of videos where i was doing hour-long videos every other day three or four videos a day and i know some people hated that and they probably all unsub for it especially uh, smith and brit uh which will never leave me that bastard i don't know why he had to you know set me up to fail 
and I know it's drama, it's stupid drama, but it's it's a kind of irrelevant thing. But I don't I don't like when uh, someone does that. Just uh, kind of pop into my comments of a 200 subscriber guy and be like, "Hey, you're gonna make it," and then fucking unsubscribe. <laughs> it's like just unfollow at that point, you, you bastard. I don't know. We're definitely gonna have to uh, start the uh, Boston Tea Party Boogaloo point two for that one. Then dump all the tea into the fucking harbor. You goddamn bastard. Anyways, all my griping aside, thank you guys for watching. I'm not actually that salty. If you think I'm salty, I'm not. I, it does it does affect me sometimes when certain things do, but when it comes to YouTubers, I have the lowest expectations. And I, my goal as a YouTuber is to try to raise the bar ever so slightly, day by day, putting out content that's not being creepy and not being weird and uh, not uh, putting people down and trying to make them feel bad. So I hope I achieved that day to day, and I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.